all there man in this video i'm going to teach you how you're going to get fast download and add it to your counter strike server in 2025 yeah. Yeah. all right so the first thing you're going to do on optic links website is make sure you log in or register to your discord account that then you can create a server so we can start things up really fast all right once you're done creating or logging in and creating the server to your optic link account I'm going to leave this other link in description because this is where we're going to get and at the same time we're going to get the link for the fast download and then we add that shit boom to our counter strike so we can make sure uh, our people can uh, download the files faster instead of just going through links and uh, downloading and putting them manually you know what I'm saying so anyway so first thing you're going to do is go on that plus button create site so yeah you just can put whatever you name you want in here so i have mine in here base builder optic link and you're going to do same as here you can just do whatever name you want but make sure you do not add any capital letters because it's not going to count like as a site domain I, it doesn't count actually that is so just you'll have to go through this so zombie plague in here dot optic and add the l here dot ink then make sure you select the free package and then you can create side but i don't think i create i can create more than one so i think that's the limit for the free users so yeah once you're done creating the site a green pop-up box uh, with a message congratulations or something like that will pop up that uh, you have created the website the domain site and it will show up like over here like i have for the base builder and then you're going to go here when it says actions and you're going to click into login into panel to control panel of fast download basically so now it will show up like this uh so now what you're going to do is go into files it takes a little bit to load up and then you'll go inside http docs like just go in there as you can see i've already added my fast download folder but what you can do is is make a folder in here called fast download or whatever just a folder so you know what yeah what are you adding basically in there with whatever name you want it named really doesn't matter but i just have it like this so i know it's fast download so yeah so now what you're going to add to this folder which you're going to create on your desktop is like resources of your server not add-ons no plugins related at all if you add it will be completely pointless and that won't even count so yeah so once you're done adding your resources in here and then to this place in here like to http docs like inside the file of course now you're going to click this plus button here and you'll see a couple of options you're going to select upload directory i know you might say what about upload file no don't do that i tried it i somehow i couldn't add that i couldn't add the fast download folder which i needed to but you just need to do upload directory then you just drag your desktop file like your fast downloads folder with the re server resources inside when you drag and drop in here you'll wait a couple of couple of seconds i would say or maybe even a minute to just be ready also once you're done adding the fast download resources folder in there so you're going to go back to the optic links website and then you're going to log in to your uh, svtp account also you need a program for it so you can manage it way better you just click launch if you haven't already then you're going to get your panel's password you, you can get it here by clicking log into panel then it will say like your panel username password you can just click this to expose it so you can get the password from there and then you add this to like to your uh, ftp program basically once you're logged into your ftp program and then you will see all the construct server files that are actually running through so now you're going to go in csstrike then you're going to find a cfg file called server.cfg and here you go it's right over here so you can just double click in here 
and then you're basically going to uh, copy this link which i'll leave but remember that folder which we created on desktop you're going to put the same name as the folder basically so yeah so it can actually count and in here base builder the side domain name which we which we created for example as i did zombie plague but as you know i don't need it since i have base builder in your case you have named it something else so i don't know make sure you add it like that but this is the example how you can add it in here and make sure you do not remove this you do not remove these things in the beginning and the, in the end because that of course that is very important and then once you're once you're done adding everything restart your optic link server and you should be good to go i hope this tutorial helped you man uh, please your next video peace